What's up, everybody? Tony Pizza Guy here, back with my SVR universe, and we are on the brand new channel. Well, it's not brand new. You all know that, but it is brand new for me, kind of, I guess. This is all wrestling on this channel, and I thought that I would do a Extreme Rules with Terry Funk. Just use some wrestlers that we haven't used before in this game, because, as you all know, I love hardcore wrestling well you might not all know that but I do love hardcore wrestling and I love ECW and Terry Funk is a legend and if you ever watch any old matches of Terry Funk versus Ric Flair some of the greatest matches ever so make sure you check those out sometime somehow somewhere someplace and uh, yeah and Evan Bourne is finally getting used on Monday Night Raw again I know you guys want me to talk about universe mode and I will but uh, we will get into a little bit of wrestling because I did actually go to Monday Night Raw if you didn't know that, well, now you know. Because I went to Monday Night Raw, and when I was there, I had actually gotten fourth row seats. Yeah, pretty good, pretty decent uh, fourth row, pretty good. And uh, not really going to talk about the show. The only thing exciting that happened was The Miz ran right by me. Wasn't on camera, though, but uh, oh well. And let's see what else happened that was exciting. Oh, yeah, I got to hang out with Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. Yes, that is true, and you guys are probably like, bullshit, bullshit. Well, let me tell you a little backstory. You know how I was a backyard wrestler? Well, some of the people that I backyard wrestled with actually became indie wrestlers and travel all around the world and things like that so one of the guys that I back here wrestled with his name is Jason Strife and if you don't know who Jason Strife is go check him out I'll put a link to the video below and the video below is actually Jason Strife versus Evan Bourne his name was Matt Seidel when he was in the indie wrestling but uh, go check it out it is Jason Strife versus Matt Seidel it's a good match but anyway we were going to the hotels like we always do, and we just happened to run into Jason Strife and all of his wrestling buddies, and they're like, hey, we're going to meet up with Ricardo Rodriguez. You want to come hang out? So we did, and we went to hang out with him, and he was probably the coolest dude that you could probably ever meet. And we weren't, like, trying to bug him or anything, so we didn't ask him really too many questions. Uh, we just kind of sat and drank with him, and he told some funny stories, and we talked, and... Uh, one of the questions that uh, Mikey Danger actually asked him, though, was, do you ever want to wrestle? I mean, you're a ring announcer and you've wrestled before, but do you ever want to get in the ring and wrestle? And he said, you know what, I'm happy where I'm at right now. Which is kind of an awesome thing because there's not many managers like him that are around, like Bobby Heenan and Sister Sherry and things like that, Sherry Martell. But... Uh, Sensational Sherry, is that? I can't even know. But uh, there's not any managers around anymore, and he's probably the last manager that's been around. Uh, but uh, something awesome is that uh, he told us that he doesn't really want to wrestle. He enjoys being where he's at now, and uh, he just enjoys it. Uh, another fun fact is that they get to the shows around noon or 1 in the afternoon during the show. So say Raw's at 8 o'clock at night. They actually have to be at the arena at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. How crazy is that? They have to be at the arena for like seven hours earlier than the show actually starts. That's ridiculous. And then we sat around and talked about Thor and talked about the Undertaker Dead Man Diaries, I think is what it was called. But uh, I don't know. I'll get more into that in the future days. I might even just read some of these Undertaker Dead Man Diaries. They are probably the funniest things ever. I have them online. You know what we could do? This would be an awesome idea for a series. We could just have some SmackDown vs. Raw playing or something with The Undertaker and then just read some Dead Man Diaries. I think you guys would enjoy that a lot. And I think that I'm actually going to do these Dead Man Diary thing because they are freaking hilarious and they're probably one of the funniest things ever. That could be one thing I could do on this channel. Wrestling fan fiction. That would be awesome. Anyway, back to Ricardo Rodriguez. We hung out. We talked about that. We had some drinks and it was all in all a fun night. While we were there though, we saw Mason Ryan come up and get dinner and drinks that night. And we saw Karma come up and get dinner. And, you know, we actually congratulated Karma. We're like, hey, congratulations. And that was it. But uh, got to hang out with Ricardo. Probably one of the coolest dudes ever. Didn't even, like, get super mark out moment for him. We just sat and chilled and pretty cool. 
And not a lot of people can say that, but uh, we did, and it was pretty awesome. So make sure you go check out the video below, and anything that I talked about, like I say, is in the description below. So look forward to that. So let's get back into this universe mode. We've kind of strayed away from it. We kind of got lost in the shuffle. As I said, I pretty much made myself thin out my wrestling videos and try to do other stuff. So uh, we are actually back to the wrestling videos, and we're back to the universe mode, and... We all know that WWE 12 is coming out, and I will put this out there right now. Yes, there is a universe mode. It's called Universe 2.0, and yes, I am going to get that game, and yes, I will do a universe play. But before we get into that too much, we'll talk about the universe that we have here. Now, Elimination Chamber is coming up this Sunday, and I'm not talking about actual Sunday. I'm talking about Sunday as in Sunday on the calendar in this game. And with that, we have... The two elimination chambers. Now we all know that Tyler Shanks, he is the number one contender at WrestleMania for a world or a WWE title, and we really don't know what he wants to do. He said that he wants to wait until after Elimination Chamber to decide who he wants to face. So what that means is that in this Elimination Chamber there's actually going to be two title matches. Evan Bourne's going to be in one, and I don't know who's going to be in that match. And then Christian's going to be in the other. But what we really know for WrestleMania is that Christian wants to go for the streak of Undertaker. And if Christian can win the streak, then he'll be the only man to defeat the Undertaker during his streak. Which will be awesome because nobody has ever done that. And in real life, Christian would never do that. And I just busted open Terry Funk. Ah, oh. One of the funniest uh, commentator things is uh, Terry Funk is so crazy. He's probably growing barbed wire in his Double Cross Ranch. Which is hilarious because you can't do that. You can't grow barbed wire. I don't know if you didn't know that, but you can't grow it. Oh, and I just gave him the concerto. And the WrestleMania is coming up. And... Then we have the end of WrestleMania. What the heck do we want to do with Universe Mode after WrestleMania? Now, as I said, this channel is strictly wrestling now, so there's a lot that we can actually do now that this channel is just wrestling. We can, we can branch out so many angles in this game that we haven't even touched before. I was thinking of doing some Superstar Thread videos, but this game is almost done. And I don't know if you guys would want Superstar Thread videos, if you would want other stuff in this game. I could make some storylines. I could... I just don't know. You know, this E3 is coming up, and they're going to talk a lot about WWE 12. And I'm actually going to be posting up videos on WWE 12. But I just don't know what else we could do out of this game. I know there's a lot of stuff that we can do, but I'm just not sure what we want to do with this game. I know that we have a lot of other wrestling games we're going to be doing, but as far as this game goes, I don't really know what we can do with it. You guys really need to help me out, because this is your channel, pretty much. I will put up whatever you guys want to see. If you don't want to see stuff, I won't put it up. If you do want to see stuff, I'll put it up. So, what kind of crazy hilarity stuff could we do that uh, you guys would want to see? I know you guys really enjoyed the SVR storylines, but the uh, problem with the SVR storylines was I announced the guy's name and then he got mad because people were spamming him and all this kind of garbage. So, what I think is if I actually do end up doing SVR storylines again... I will actually pick other people's storylines, and I will do storylines that are funny because that's what I like. I like the ones that are funny. And when I do the storylines, I will not mention their names because that's what got us in trouble the first time is mentioning that guy's name. So we won't do that anymore. And there's the Van Bornator, and we're going to do the uh, Moonsault. Oh, look at that. Look at that chair. Did you see that chair just fly up in the air? What the heck was that? <sighs> oh my god. And here we go. We're gonna put the thing around his neck, and we're gonna go up top for a born airborne. I almost forgot. I almost called it born legends, but you can't do it. For some reason, it wouldn't let me do it, so I just jumped off and hurt myself. And what the RV? What? What? Wait, wait a minute. What the heck is RVD doing here? Oh, you know what it is? I think it's because RVD and Terry Funk are friends. They're legends. They're ECW hardcore icons. And we probably 
want to put RVD in the elimination chamber. Oh, but RVD Hurricane Ron, and what is RVD going to do? Oh, no. No, don't do it. Oh, five-star frog splash on Evan Bourne versus Rob Van Dam. Oh, my God. And we all know that Evan Bourne is having problems with Randy Orton, but now it looks like he's having problems with RVD. And I don't know. What, what is going to happen? RVD, did he... Entering himself in the Elimination Chamber? Is Randy Orton going to be in the Elimination Chamber? I don't know. Oh, and faced to the chair. Looks like Terry Funk might pull this one out if uh, we can't get back up. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's let's uh, kick him. Oh, we hit our shins together, and that wouldn't feel good at all, and he blocked my drop kick. But we will get up. We will beat Terry Funk because Terry Funk is an old man. If we can't beat Terry Funk, I mean, he's a legend. But, oh, my God, we just missed the drop kick, and he did. He teased me. Did he tease. Oh, my God. We got to get up. Forget the finishers. Forget the signatures. We're just going to get up. We're going to destroy Terry Funk, and you know what? We're going to dive onto Terry Funk. Let's do it. And knock Terry Funk out. Okay, we're just gonna win this because I, I don't want to be flashy anymore. Let's just let's just win this match. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are we gonna do it? Yes, we won. Oh my God, we won. All right, guys. Tony Pizza Guy, frag out.